three magic words. And these three magic words will maximize your income and help you earn more money for every single project that you shoot. Getting into price discussions with your clients can be daunting. As a pro, you wanna make sure that you're compensated fairly for your work while also providing value for your client. One of the best ways to approach this is by understanding the full scope and the value of the project before you dive into the budget conversation. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to get the most amount possible for every single photography project you're negotiating, and you can do it in three simple steps. Step number one, complete project understanding. Before you can even approach the topic of budget, ensure that you have a full understanding of the client's project, which means asking detailed questions. What's the project for? Understanding the purpose behind the project gives you the insight into its value and the importance to the client. Where is it going to be used? Knowing the platforms or the media where the project's going to be featured helps you gauge the exposure and impact, therefore influencing its value. Print media is advertising, so you can charge usage fees. Social media, on Online images, they don't pay as much as images that are used for print. And lastly, how long will it be used for? Duration of use is critical in understanding the lifespan and the ongoing value this project will have for the client. Longer use means higher value to the client. By asking these questions, you not only show your professionalism and thoroughness, but it also gives you a clearer picture of what the client truly needs and the value that you can bring. Step number two, introducing the three magic words. What's your budget? Once you've established a comprehensive understanding of the project, you can transition into discussing budget. At this point, you have all the knowledge to assess if the client's budget aligns with the value that you provide. Of course, during this conversation, you've been taking notes and telling yourself how much this project is actually worth to you. This is exactly when you ask, what's your budget? Asking what's your budget after gathering all the necessary information allows you to align expectations. You can immediately identify if the client's budget is in the ballpark of what you'd typically charge for such a project, this is the great part. Most of the time, your client's budget will be higher than the ballpark of what you'd typically charge, which means you can customize a solution. Now that you understand the budget and the project needs, you can tailor your offerings to provide maximum value within the client's financial constraints. If your client's budget is now higher than expected, you now have the ability to create the type of experience for them that will have them coming back. Rent a nicer studio, hire a more experienced assistant. I customized solutions for every single client that I shoot for. What you're doing is establishing professionalism. By asking detailed questions throughout the whole process, you position yourself as a thorough and a thoughtful professional, setting the stage for respectful and productive budget negotiations. Step number three, emphasizing value over price. Having a clear understanding of the project and the client's budget allows you to emphasize the value that you bring to the table. Instead of focusing on justifying your prices, you can now discuss how your services will meet your client's specific needs and how your unique skill and experience will contribute to the project's success. Remember, value is subjective. Your understanding of the project's scope and your client's needs allows you to highlight the specific value that you have to offer, which might in fact justify a higher price than the client initially expected. Also, negotiation is a two-way street. Be open to discussing how the project can be adjusted to fit budget without compromising your standards or undervaluing your work. You can also offer to give less for smaller budgets. Ask yourself this, will this project lead to more projects? Will this project be great for my portfolio? If so, these types of projects are worth doing for less than expected and could lead to repeat business. Smart ones negotiate that into their pricing. I'll do this for you at this price if I know that I'm the only photographer you'll use. Or I'll do this for you this season at this price if you hire me next season as well. Informed budget talks always lead to better outcomes. By taking the time to understand the project fully before discussing budget, you set yourself up for effective price negotiations. Asking what's your budget at the right time allows you to align your services with the client's financial expectations and ensures that both parties are satisfied with the agreement. Remember, Always focus on the value that you bring and maintain open, respectful communication throughout the process. Your professionalism and your thoroughness will not only help you get paid well, but will build lasting relationships with your clients. If you're trying to make a real mark in this photography industry, but you're finding yourself stuck, it'll probably help you to know that most photographers that are in your stage of the game are stuck as well. I was stuck as well. 
I've been doing this for three decades and I was stuck. So I made some photography videos about how I unstuck myself. This specific title says it all. Click that video next and I'll see you in that one. I'll be wearing the same black t-shirt, but it's a different one. I have like 12 of them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.